Hi, I'm Tierra Benaldi and this is Global Pet Expo TV. There is no doubt there are tons of deals being done right here in Orlando as buyers make plans to stock their shelves for the coming year. The day started out with this year's exciting industry breakfast and retailer excellence award ceremony. Global Pet Expo and Pet Business Media honor the best in retail for their hard work and their impact on the industry. People understand, I mean, these retailers are what supports the industry. It's a single unit guy who can still talk to the folks who come in with their pets, about their pets, and tell them things to do with their pets. It's, it's really quite a necessary award to recognize people who do really at the grassroots of, of this industry. Well, this is a, a very good way to recognize the hard work of, uh, of us uh, uh, with little stores beginning and uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, so I think it's very encouraging to receive one. Global Pet Expo is in the national spotlight, the Today Show set up to cover the event and show America the latest buzz within the pet industry. This is the quintessential pet show of the world. Everybody is here to promote everything for our fur angels. And it's just so incredible because you see from the practical like, oh, why didn't I think of that, to the outrageous. And it's just an incredible show that gives you so much insight and it makes you feel so good that people care so much and love our animals so much. At the official Global Pet Expo press conference, APPA President and CEO Bob Vettiri spoke about the growth of the pet industry. He released new spending figures, putting the industry at $55 billion. So this year, the biggest proliferation of new type products we're seeing are health related, whether they're vitamin supplements or age specific foods or senior formulas or dental products or products for bones or exercise products or products to encourage that kind of type of exercise. So I think right now that's probably as strong a, a driving force within the industry as anything. Press sponsor Sargent's Pet Care announced its newest flea and tick topical treatment, Pet Armor Plus IGR. They're also donating $25,000 to give 25 protective vests to law enforcement dogs. Oh, we are so grateful and I'm grateful for the exposure to get this wonderful cause out in front of just the general public and the people that really care about pets. And this year is no different from years past as big name celebrities keep rolling in to Global Pet Expo. Actress, supermodel and designer Kathy Ireland is here to speak at the Worldwide Press Conference on her new line of loved ones products and her passion for pets. This is amazing and it is really a dream to be here and you really have to be here to fully experience it. I've been reading about this and aware of this but this is my first visit to the Global Pet Expo. People are here from all over the world. The most innovative products. The most coveted award here at Global Pet Expo is best in show from thousands of entries. Buyers vote on the best products in each category and the winners are announced right here at the show. I think that where we go from winning this award is to as many, uh, as many stores as we can, as many rescue groups as we can, as many shelters as we can to really explain the message and the simple concept of every time you buy a bag of food or treats, we donate one to a dog in need. That's a fantastic thing that we have an expo this size. There's a, there's a whole lot of choices to be made for buyers. Um, we appreciate the opportunity to be there for those buyers and it's been a great place for us to come and exhibit. This is, this is the Super Bowl of the pet industry. So this is the one that everybody comes for. The best new products are all geared up maybe a year in advance for some of these. Dr. Marty Becker also makes his own top picks for the year. For a list of all the winners in every category, be sure to check out GlobalPetExpo.org. Every year, Global Pet Expo recognizes one member of the media for their outstanding contributions to the pet industry. This year's winner is Connie Wilson, founder, publisher, and editor of Modern Dog and Modern Cat magazines. Global Pet Expo TV's Carrie Farinac had a chance to catch up with Connie. Carrie? Thanks, Tierra. We are at the Purina Media Reception, where all these members of the media are here to recognize Connie. Connie, tell us first what it's like to be honored here. It's a huge honor to be recognized both by my peers and the pet industry is, is a milestone moment in my life. And tell me what has been the most rewarding part about having a publication in the pet industry. 
I'd have to say that the most rewarding part of um, having the publications in the pet industry is being able to build a community of dog lovers and cat lovers because we have Modern Cat Magazine now too and being able to positively influence the, our readership and provide like uh, some of the things that are near and dear to my heart are um, adoption, we're pro-rescue and also positive training methods. Fantastic, I know Modern Cat is the newest of your publications, tell us how that's going. It's um, skyrocketing, absolutely skyrocketing, but um, everybody thinks that Modern Cat is new on the scene, but it actually launched back in 2004 as a section within Modern Dog, and uh, that was when we had Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa on our cover, and uh, Regis is a huge cat lover, and so anyway, we thought at that time that we'd launch Modern Cat, so now it's all kind of grown up with a magazine of its own and uh, thrilling cat lovers everywhere. Fantastic. Well, Connie, congratulations again. We're excited to have you with us. We appreciate it. Tierra, back to you. Global Pet Expo buzz is growing as your constant tweets have been flooding social media. Don't forget those tweets can be seen when you enter the show floor. Just use the hashtag Global Pet Expo. That does it for this edition of Global Pet Expo TV. We'll see you tomorrow.